If you would have told me five years ago, this is what my life would look like now, I would have been like, are you sure? Or I, I can't see that happening. So my name is Whitney Rusevich. I have always thought about fostering or adopting, potentially someday, but um, before I actually started doing that, I worked at a daycare for almost two years. Then I had an opportunity to go to India for five months and work at an orphanage there. I just always thought like there's kids out there who need help and I just want to be that safe place for them that they can come, feel loved, feel safe um, because a lot of them are in unsafe places and don't even know what it's like to feel safe. Foster families choose to come with us because they want to help kids. They love kids. I'm Laura Duran. I'm the program director at Adelphi Village for foster care and adoption. Families who cannot take care of their kids because of a combination of a mental health and also a drug addiction. They neglect them or they abuse them and they're not safe in their home. So with our kids, you know, that have experienced the trauma in their birth home, coming into foster care, it's very important that we provide a safe place. When she decided to foster, it was just a, a desire that just kept growing and growing, and so you either have to ignore it or you have to run with it. I wasn't sure where to start whenever I thought about fostering, so I decided to um, just Google search it. So I just found a phone number and decided to give them a call. Then from there, it all went very quickly. And then in the end, it was like, oh wait, this is actually happening. We're about to do this. When I got the call to receive my first placement, um, who is now my son, Ty, I, I think I knew about two weeks ahead of time that he was coming. They don't give very many details, but get a little bit. So I was very excited. The day that he actually came um, was very nerve wracking. I was praying for her, her and him all the morning. I had seen a picture of him and I thought, oh, I love this little boy already, you know. After having him for, I think like, maybe not even three days, I was like, I could never just not be in this kid's life anymore. It turned out to uh, not be an option for him to go back home. So um, whenever the, uh, the idea of adoption came up, I was very quick to say, absolutely. I kind of thought, I'm gonna choose to um, be done with teenagers or older kids and try to go for the younger age group. So my sixth placement was a 15-year-old girl named Zoe, and I just looked at her picture and I thought, how can I say no? And she is now currently my daughter as well. I've adopted her. It was her first time being in a foster program, so that was certainly new for her. So it took her a lot longer to adjust. The number one issue we see with kids um, is trauma-based. Um, you know, if they've experienced neglect or abuse, they've already ex experienced trauma with their family, their biological family. Foster families having to help um, work with those kids, they struggle with a lot of behaviors because of that, that trauma they experience, not knowing how to regulate their emotions. She would show glimpses of being comfortable, and so I was like, okay, I think, you know, she's, she's getting there. She, she was the one who wanted to be adopted. I was surprised, again, with her being older, but I was like, absolutely. Well, Adoption Day is, they, they make it a big deal, and that is important for the child and for the family, and Whitney made it a big deal. We took a bunch of pictures outside, and um, during the uh, hearing, um, it, it is emotional. Um, the judge was tearing up and choking up. The one time he uh, did say something that was very special, and he said, there aren't many happy days in this room. And then he said, but this is one of them. We were excited to be able to share with everybody and just celebrate. I always like to um, have an adoption party as well for the kids because they're very excited about that. It's just a fun place for friends and family who have supported us for the, through the whole process. So it was a lot of fun. I could just tell even later that day, like she just felt very free, very, um, you could just see like more safe. Sometimes all we can do is plant a seed. Sometimes we don't help every child in every way we possibly hope to, but at least we're planting a seed, seed and knowing that they are loved and uh, that somebody is there caring for them.
One of the things I've learned about fostering is that it's 100% for the kid. They need families that are just here for the kids for whatever is needed in the process and who can fight for the kids to help them. There's probably so many uh, children out there that we'd, we, if we only had a clue, we would all jump in and say, yes, 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 I want to foster. Three years ago when I started, I didn't think that this would be a, where we are now, that I have two kids, almost teenagers, both of them, but I love it and I wouldn't change anything.